Okay, let's look at uh, question 25, reverse nodes in K group. We have a linked list. Uh, it's actually a group of K, uh, reverse nodes in group of K, uh, not K group. Uh, so um, let's look at the, the question. We have a linked list. We want to reverse the nodes of a linked list, uh, K node at a time, and return the head node to the modified linked list. K is guaranteed to be a positive number and it's less than or equal to the number of nodes in the linked list so we have to at least apply this uh, reverse uh, at least once for a group of k uh, if the number of nodes is not a multiple of k then the left out nodes in the end the remainder uh, you know a couple of nodes that are less than k uh, their order should remain as it is look at the example we have one two three four five um, so if k equal to two we uh, swap the adjacent two nodes basically two one four three five the single node there uh, it's less than two so it, it's unchanged if k equal to three it will become three two one and four five because four five the remainder two nodes is less than three so their their order are not changed uh, the notes here says uh, we should use constant uh, extra memory uh, so uh, there's not going to be any kind of uh, make a copy of the whole thing uh, and we may only alter the links, not the values. So it's uh, pretty similar to the prior question 24, except that uh, this prior question we are basically doing uh, swap nodes in pairs. It's uh, the k equal to 2 case uh, for this more uh, general question. But the big idea is the same. Uh, let's look at uh, what this looked like. So we have a node uh, that's the very last node from a previous uh, kind of uh, uh, K group reversal, and then we have uh, a couple of nodes that, that we want to do the reverse. Let's say that uh, we have uh, three nodes with equal, you know, K equal to three, and obviously we would want to keep track of this, the previous node here, and the nodes that uh, I guess we can uh, I, I call it beyond. So that's the first node that beyond this uh, uh, group of K. We are currently looking at the node two. So that's now our initial kind of uh, state, one, two, three, four, five. We want it to look like uh, uh, one, four, three, two, five. So the necessary change are, uh, you know, remove this link, and we chop off uh, the last link as well. And then what we do is to reverse order of this uh, uh, l links. So after that, uh, we should have the previous to points to the uh, new head. You know, so if we're just only looking at the, the section here, we can call this the new old head to this uh, subsection of uh, n a k k nodes. This is the old tail. Um, after the reverse, it will become this old tail will become the old old uh, new head. And uh, this uh, old head will become the new tail. So what we would do is just code a function that uh, can reverse uh, a linked list in k in in, in k groups, uh, you know, k nodes at that time, and return the new head and new tail. Uh, if we have already keep track of the previous and beyond, then what we need to do is to have previous points to the new head. Um, and also have the new tail points to the beyond. So um, it could also be one of the job that uh, this function can tell us. Yeah, let's say that uh, we have a node, uh, we have a function, reverse k, and given the key number, uh, you will have to return the three, three nodes, the beyond node, the new tail, a new head, and new tail. So with this uh, three pointers, uh, if the uh, section of a k k nodes group are already reversed with this function, um, and we also, you know, we also keep track of this previous node. Uh, all we need to do after calling this is to uh, have the previous points to the new head, have the new tail points to the beyond, and then move the traversal to beyond and move the previous to traverse because that's the new tail. So I'm just going to put it on here. PREV points to uh, new head and uh, new tail points to beyond. 
or or we can actually just inside this function we have the new tail points to be on and then it doesn't have to uh, return this uh, it could only re it could just return these two things and we can grab the beyond and ourselves uh, but either way it's it's not a big deal uh, so this is the rewiring and advanced is just going to be previous going to move that to traverse and traverse going to move to beyond so that's the uh, yeah that's pretty much on the big picture uh, how it looks like and obviously before we do this uh, reverse k we can do a quick test to see whether we still have enough nodes if uh, the uh, if we don't have enough nodes uh, you know less than k before we traverse, when we traverse and for less than k steps we see a null pointer, uh, then we actually just don't do this reverse. So, so that's gonna be the strategy. Uh, this this reverse linked list, uh, uh, you know, k k nodes at the time. Uh, I I think I solved the problem of this uh, early on. So if you don't know how to do reverse, you can check the video. I guess it, it's basically just grab the next the point next node, have the next the points to the previous and move the previous to the next so that's uh, pretty much how, how it is done so yeah I'm just gonna have uh, a couple of uh, helper function um, and the other one yeah, it's gonna be reverse k nodes take a traverse node and k and it will return two, th three things. Uh, it will return the beyond node, the new head, and the new tail. Obviously, the new tail in the beginning is going to be the uh, this traverse node here. If you look at the picture here, new tail is equal to traverse. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're going to figure figure out uh, the inside there uh, soon. So we're going to have a sentinel node to. Um, to yeah, it's it's now our initial previous node. It's a, a node with uh, only a pointer points to the head. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's now our initial traversing starting node is going to be uh, this head node given to us. So our looping condition is just uh, while we still have k nodes that we can try to do this uh, reverse. Uh, what we're gonna do is to grab this three thing, and then use this uh, rewiring uh, rule. Of the previous nodes point to the uh, B. Uh, what, what's this now? The oh sorry, it should be the new head, and have the new tail points to the beyond, and uh, that's the rewiring. After that, we move the uh, no, um, uh, you know traverse nodes uh, forward. So after all this, um, after all this, if we have a remainder group that contains uh, nodes less than k, or it could potentially be that the, the traverse now becomes a, uh, you know, the beyond could be a null pointer. Uh, that that's also can possibly be, be the reason that uh, the has k nodes will return false. Uh, we will have the previous nodes that uh, pointing to the remainder. So make the final connection there if necessary. Uh, after that, we can just return uh, this. So that's uh, pretty much the main logic. Then it's just to, to handle this, uh, or could that uh, these two functions. Uh, maybe just uh, for sake of um, bad inputs, we can do this. Uh, garbage in and garbage out. For this, 
Uh, we're just gonna do. Uh, I'm in Python now. No need for that. So we try to traverse inside this linked list with uh, from this point, and uh, try to go that go as far as possible before we uh, we decrement k to be uh, uh, you know zero. Uh, or we reach the no pointer. Uh, whatever that terminates this, we want to check how uh, we already traveled the k links. If we travel the k links, then we can return true, meaning that uh, we have enough nodes to do a reverse nodes in k groups in a group of k. And other than that, other th th after that, uh, we should just uh, code up uh, this reverse uh, code. Uh, so it's uh, we do this in k times. Uh, we don't need to test uh, whether this traverse is a uh, null pointer and does it contain a next. We don't need to do worry about that because uh, if we call this, uh, we are sure that we have at least the k nodes to do this. So that's why I'm just doing a uh, for uh, k. Uh, we want to grab the next and we're gonna have the nodes points to its previous and. Uh, uh, we're going to advance this simultaneously. So in the end, the previous is going to be the new head. And the new tail is... Uh, uh, we, we grab this uh, as the new new tail up, up uh, in the very beginning. And afterwards, the traverse will become the, uh, the nodes as beyond. So... Uh, let me actually just do one really quick example about that, I think. Um, so we have something like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're doing k equal to 3. t, uh, it's a traverse. Uh, previous and next. Uh, this is a null pointer. So initially it will be like this, the previous is none, uh, the traverse points to the node, this first node inside this group of k, 3, and next is something that we grab, we have the next, and we grab the next, and we have the traverse node points to the previous node, that's uh, changing this link to looking like this. Uh, after that, we will move uh, this to shift that towards right by one, uh, that's this. And that just rings and repeat this for three times. So the second time we'll have two points to one, remove this link and move them one step further. And in the very last iteration, before we hit uh, decrement k to be, uh, you know, uh, exhaust the three iterations, um, the, the previous is gonna point to the new, new head and the traverse is going to point to this uh, beyond node. So, uh, so if I want to return beyond new head and new tail, I'm just going to do uh, traverse previous and the new tail. It will be equivalent to to that. Um, it will be what what do we want. So, yeah. So with this, it uh, should be uh, very. I think it should work. Uh, let's try. Nope. Uh, okay. As usual. Oh, okay, I'm s shifting between two languages. Uh, I can take off this uh, parenthesis. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, pretty much the code. Um, all right. Uh, so uh, it, it's not hard. Um, yeah. Link list question are usually not hard. Uh, I guess the Based on my experience um, from solving these questions uh, in this week, I, uh, I strongly recommend to uh, put on a picture about uh, the initial kind of uh, situation you want and uh, the final result after the modification and just figure out. This helps tremendously to figure out uh, the uh, link rewiring and how you move the pointers ahead. And uh, yeah, I'm doing some animations so that uh, uh, we don't make mistakes. Alright, so that's uh, for today.